Hey y'all, Bunkle here again. Hope you're having a great day. Today's been a really good day by me. Uh, had some time to go out. Went to Goodwill, and I'll get to that in a minute. I uh, also got to spend some time in a huge local park near me that has a zoo and all sorts of other stuff. So taking the kids and the nieces and nephew, a whole lot of fun there. Yeah, you know, uh, the Dippin' Dots or whatever ice cream cups that they have for sale there or six bucks a pop and uh a water a bottle of water is three dollars so if you're dumb enough not to carry something like i kind of was uh i mean i carried my big jug but nobody wants to really drink out of that well you end up dropping a little bit of a penny there that's for sure but that's just part of the whole family life and all of that stuff so I had an absolute fun time there goofing off with the kids that's for sure uh running around the parks it's 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 always funny I uh, always have fun doing that. Anyway, um, when I got here, and I mentioned it a couple minutes ago, um, we made a stop to Goodwill earlier today. This is one of the things that I will do uh, on weekends. Uh, I'll tend to hit thrift, thrift stores, thrift shops, garage sales, yard sales, whatever else is out there. Now, my wife is usually shopping for one thing. I'm shopping for other things, of course. So we usually meet somewhere along the line. If she finds something cool that I might be interested in she lets me know if I find something cool that she might be interested in, I let her know uh, she tends to do a, a lot more DIY type uh, like artsy projects uh, as do my daughters um, so they're, they're on the lookout for those kinds of things me I, I tend to look at things for resale or cards now these were in particular uh, pretty cool I saw the price and I saw the red dots and I asked um, so what do these red dots mean you can see them and the uh, person behind the counter let me know that that meant that today because they're red dotted or whatever uh, they're 25% off so 25% off I mean to me a, a box of cards to, to have a goof and go through it's six bucks each that would have been 12 bucks uh, you know what getting them at a discount I'll do that every time now to me the cool thing was one is marked baseball comments and stars the other one is just marked baseball comments now who knows what anybody considers a comment or a star or anything like that. I know who I do. Uh, but just because there's commons in it doesn't necessarily mean that they're all junk cards. That uh, that they're all nobodies or anything like that. And there might be something cool in there. They may have been commons when they were boxed and uh, not necessarily commons anymore. I mean, I know back in the day, uh, I probably would have thrown people like Bly Levin into a commons box. Uh, Harold Baines into a commons box. He was a star. They were stars, I guess. But, you know, nobody nobody that had any kind of trade value or sales value or anything like that. Sure, you need them to complete sets. But, and, you know, I, I guess part of it goes to uh, maybe disrespecting who stars are and who stars, you know, can be. You, you look for the illustrious and the, as, as opposed to the blue collar you built a really great career over a period of years, uh, kind of like Bly Levin did, where is some people might think he kind of snuck into the Hall of Fame. Other people say, no, you know what? If you really look at his overall body of work, he had some really great numbers there. Anyway, it's it's all opinion um, in many ways. And uh, I, I mean, I could I could make the case for other pitchers, just like people made the case for Bly Levin. Um, but all that's above my pay grade. So now I do have the frappers ready just in case. Uh, got penny sleeves ready just in case there's anything good and I'm going to get the wall of fame started up there now to me I again I have no idea they didn't let me go through or open or anything like that they were behind the counter so no idea exactly what I'll find what years what uh, brands what anything and uh, I may end up doing two videos on this I'm not sure let me fix the screen a little bit there so I can start going through these all right. Now, I guess one good thing is I don't need the handy-dandy knife. I'll take off that one there. All right. Let's see what we got here. Now, to me, even if they're commons, uh, they could be good for set fillers or anything like that. And again, you never know exactly what you're going to find in there. So we're starting off with leaf cards here. Let me give you give all a little bit better of a camera angle there. Starting off with some leaves, I see a checklist. Now, I do wonder if they're in numerical order. Nah, they're just tossed in there, that's fine. Lance McCullers, 
Andre Galarraga. Now, it's interesting, though, because this is the box of commons and stars, and at one time, Andre Galarraga was considered a star. So, who knows? Carlos Baerga, Lenny Harris, Barry Jones, Franklin Stubbs, Dick Schofield, Scott Scudder, Wes Gardner, Hector Villanueva, Mark Williamson. Now, I will say that these cards are in really sharp condition, so that's a good sign. Uh, if I'm going to be doing set fillers on eBay or something like that, these are definitely things that uh, would be great up on there. Got Jeff Treadway, Storm Davis, John Franco, Larry Sheets, Wallace Johnson, Candy Maldonado, Mickey Hatcher, Don Paul, Larry Anderson, Scott Bales, Jack Armstrong, Jerry Reed, Les Lancaster, Joe Orsalak, Dana Keeker, Sean Boski. Now, what year are these from? Let's see if I can get that up real close there. Not, of course, my bad eyes. Looks like 19, either 89 or 90 there. Yep, 1990 Leaf. So, there's some good stuff that might be found in here, that's for sure. Barry Jones, Franklin Stubbs, Dick Schofield, Scott Scudder again. Hey, Gary, I'm going to just rip through these. Jack Morris, okay, so we got our first, in my mind, hit. Jerry Goff, Keith Hernandez. Nice. Okay. Wharton, Reed, Harris, Assenmacher, Ron Gant. Nice body of work he put together. Willie Randolph with the A's there. That's pretty cool. Lee Guterman and Bryn Smith. So I'd say so far I found one that would go on the Wall of Fame. And Jack Morris is one of those that, uh, yeah, he'd be considered a common, but uh, put together the body of work that's definite. Uh, in my mind, better than Bly 11, but who am I? Dave West, Reynolds, O'Brien, Dalton. McCuller is another Galarraga. Yep, seems like there's a lot of duplicates in here also, but that's kind of to be expected. I mean, looking at this box from the outside, Dan Petrie... Petri Dish, he was a real sharp pitcher back in the day. Would have been considered by many a star. All right. Now, just looking at this box, I'm going to go with the safe assumption, being that I don't see really any color change except for right there, that these are probably mostly, if not all, leaf from the same set. Let me get the Jack Morris Frappard. Because, I mean, that's, that's a hit. Now, again, these were marked at $6 a box, 25% off, so $9 I paid for these two boxes. Either way, uh, I, uh, I'm not sure if I'm going to come out winning ahead if I look at the dollar amount on these. But depending on what happens, you never know. Willie Blair, Russell, Leach, Eric Hansen, Kurt Young, Mike Dunn. Treadway. Steve Avery. Now, he was definitely considered an up-and-coming star around those times. Let me actually get something open on the computer here that might give me a little bit more insight. Ozzy Canseco, Canseco Light, or the Canseco Brother. Looks like he's uh, definitely dieseled up there also. Candyman Candelaria. Scott Coolball. Alright, next chunk. All right, starting off with Jeff Brantley. Mike Jackson, not Michael Jackson to you. Mike Jackson, thank you. Yeah. 
Willie Randolph again there. Lefferts, Gruderman, Bryn Smith, Dave West. Let me see what the PS9s are on these. I mean, I don't expect that there'd be anything like Frank Thomas in here. Um, interestingly enough, the Willie McGee card in uh, PSA 9. Uh, again, according to the PSA website, $23 card from this set. So that's interesting. Uh, tens, you have the strawberry up there, uh, which is pretty cool. And then, you know, your typical Hall of Famers that would be all over this kind of set. Thomas, uh, Griffey, Mattingly, not Hall of Famers, should be. Martinez, Walker, Ripken Jr. Uh, those would all be worth getting graded. Um, well, if we find a Fernando Valenzuela in this, that could be a hit. Steve Sachs could be a hit. Uh, Rob Dibble even could be a potential hit. So, just knowing that going in... Uh, now, you don't always look at PSA or values of cards necessarily when you're buying something like this. But uh, even with this kind of purchase, you know, you like to see that you kind of got your money back. Lee Smith, Hall of Famer there. I'll keep him on the side. No surprise to see him in the uh, in a commons box. Ah, and even the Steve Avery in this set. Uh, PSA 10, now, I don't think that that card necessarily is a PSA 10. Uh, it's 36 bucks. So that, that could be an interesting one because if it is, well, that might kind of sort of make it worth it. Maybe not for a PSA slab, but for something else. All right, there goes Kittle. Nice. Again, maybe not for a PSA slab, but for an SGC or something like that, that might be cheaper. If the card is in that good of a shape and centering and all of that, it might be worth it. Willie McGee, I won't start singing. Well, that might be better than some of the stuff in here. <laughs> Willie Wilson, Magadan, okay. Dave Martinez, another Jack Morris card. Okay, that's pretty cool. I'll keep that on the side. Keith Hernandez again. Assenmacher. Yeah, there goes another of the Steve Avery's. I'm going to keep that on the side just in case because centering looks pretty good on that. Corners, edges look fine. I'll keep that on the side and take a closer look later. And again, I'm going to go back through all of these just to confirm, make sure. Um, I had no idea what was going to be in here, so I had no idea what I'd be looking for. There could be errors or variety cards or stuff like that also. Never know when you buy something like this. Dwayne Ward... Another Lee Smith, okay. So we're getting a few Hall of Famers in here. Not the big name Hall of Famers, of course. Bobby Witt, Greg Litton, Jose Felix, Mike Dunn, Tewksbury. I'm just going to keep ripping through these. I mean, I'm thinking we'll probably get... Uh, more hits than the one that's marked Commons and Stars. But, you know what? Even so. Even so. Mark Davis, Dennis Rasmussen, and Jimmy Leyritz. Now, tough luck pitcher there, Ron Darling. I mean, he, again, he, I talked about him in a couple other videos. He'd, he'd have like a two or three ERA and end up with like 19 losses, uh, the Mets were definitely uh, kind of crappy as far as hitting back then. Hershiser. All right. So we got an Oral Hershiser there. That's pretty cool. Hal Morris. He was a big up-and-comer at that time. So, yeah, mostly it looks like uh, the, this marking was correct. Baseball Commons. All right. Keith Hernandez again. Another Avery. There we go. Another Conseco Light. <laughs> Candyman again. I 
mean, you never know if it's going to be trash or treasure. And uh, whether, again, to believe baseball commons, is it really commons? Uh, or did somebody miss something? Or did they consider something a common and it might not be? You know, all things considered, yeah, I'd, I'd say that 99.9% .9 of all these cards so far are absolutely common cards. Um, also, if anybody who sees this video, if there's any cards that you need to set fillers or anything like that, let me know. I'd definitely be happy to get you out some of these uh, in trade or whatever the case might be. Um, I'll probably be listing definite set filler for these. Um, but yeah, just let me know. Mention that in the comments. Contact me by email. Uh, if there's any particular cards that you need for your set of these leaf cards. And uh, I'm, I'm definitely very easy going as far as working out a deal. That's for sure. Other people would be able to say it. Now, Kevin Moss, that's an interesting one. Yankee slugger for at least one year back then. That's uh, his rookie card. So that's pretty interesting. I mean, again, no real value there, but... Uh, as a Yankee fan or anybody who follows Hall of Fame careers or think that they have a guaranteed Hall of Famer, that's your example right there. Call it the Kevin Moss effect. I mean, him, uh, the, uh, the Mets had somebody similar to that. A lot of teams did, where they were expected to, to be all that in a bag of chips, and uh, they weren't even a bag of chips. Bruno... Another Kevin Moss. Nice one there, okay. I'll throw that one to the side. Candyman. The Candyman can. It's a great picture with the Pirates. That I remember. Another Galarraga. Malecki. Mark Whiten. He has a card in another set where his hand is kind of sticking out the edge. Uh, that one's definitely worth a uh, pretty penny and to me he, that would he would be somebody that would be in a commons box i mean he had a good enough career but nobody nobody would ever consider him a star um but yeah something like that could always be inside one of these that, that's the other part is you never know errors variations or any of that kind of stuff all right we got ripkin light another michael jackson card mike jackson randolph Wally Backman there. The Pirates, not the Mets. Always looks odd to me. Another Backman just to make him stay in focus. Tim Tuffle. Dante Bichette. Norm Charlton. Interesting there. And Carlos Quintana. Charlton was one of the uh, pitchers with the Reds at that time. Reds were pitching, putting together a pitching staff of 100-mile-an-hour pitchers, and uh, he was one of them along with Dibble and, uh, geez, I forget the name of the other one, but uh, they, they definitely had a great staff then. Cora, Gilkey, Wally Backman. Not real Wally World, but Wally World Light. Glenn Braggs, Hesketh, Ward. All right, looks like we got some switch up there. Now we got some Donruss 92s. Now, Donruss 92 is also a very lightweight set. Uh, not all that much you're going to find in there anyway. I mean, 92 was not the best year for rookies overall. Yeah, he was part of that A's team that was really good. I mean, he was the light, very lightweight hitter. Um, definitely more known for his uh, his fielding, and uh, if I'm not if I'm not mistaken, batting average. 
Uh, but definitely not uh, any kind of power from his bat. Now, one that might be in this, of course, uh, would be a Kenny Lofton. Um, that would be pretty cool to find. Also, Rod, uh, Rod Beck. Again, looking at PSA values on the side here. So keep an eye out for those two. Whitaker, nice card there. Wally World, I was just goofing about him. Gilberto Reyes, Bernard Gilkey. Bip Roberts. Ron Gant, all right, nice. Another Kevin Moss. <laughs> oh, Yankee fans, yeah. Anybody who followed the Yankees from that time period definitely knows Kevin Moss. Oh, boy. Break the record for home runs as a as a as a rookie and whatever number of games it was that he played and uh, he had a streak of home runs going for a while and that's it just choke done game over rated rookie uh, he must have been rated well but not all that well so I never heard of him I'm sure his mama did now that's another one. Okay, as far as a pitcher, um, that was the pitcher that everybody wanted. Everybody thought it was going to be everything in a bag of chips. I uh, thought it was going to be the next Ryan Seaver. Um, absolutely didn't pan out. Uh, if I'm not mistaken, he blew out his elbow. Her back, there goes one. Shout out to CW there, always with the Herbecks. <laughs> Mark Whiten again. Ellis Burks. Yep. He's a common that would have been a star, but didn't exactly become a star. That goes to Rod Dibblecard. Again, with the Reds. Big time power pitcher. Back of the cards there. Robert Keith Dibble. All right. Benito Santiago. I mean, he's another one that could have been a star. Ooh. Now... I don't care who says what, but that's not a common. All right, that right there is a Hall of Famer. So that one definitely goes up in the Hall of Fame, even from a box of commons. There could always be something that gets left in. or Now again, PSA value on that is probably junk, but that doesn't matter. He's still a Hall of Famer. Roberto Alomar, another one. Nice. All right, so we got something lined up there, and I think I'm getting down towards the dregs of this box. Right down near the bottom there, so. Mark Wohler's rookie. Okay, that's interesting. Nice card there. Not Hall of Fame, but definitely one of the ones you'd look for in this set. Hanky Whitehurst, Steve Avery there. Caminiti. Willie McGee. Tommy Green, highlights. Marquis Grissom. Now, he was supposed to be a huge star. Uh, part of a machine the Expos were putting together during those years. On base percentage. Not a, again, not a home run hitter, but uh, on base percentage. Uh, your, your typical get on base and steal one and get yourself moved around. Just cause a bit of a storm. Jimmy Abbott, nice card there. I mean, not Hall of Famer, but definitely collectible. Frank Banana Tanana. David Cohn. That's, that's definitely early on in his career. It's not his rookie that I'm aware of, but definitely early on. Otis Nixon highlights. Norm Charlton, very cool. Ooh, Norman Wood Charlton III. <laughs> Benito Santiago and Will Cordero. All right, well, as I said, get near the dregs of this.
Nope. And the Ashby. Nope. Kevin Moss. There we go again. I'll throw him up there. Roger Salkfield. Sandy Alomar. Nice. That's a nice early card of his also. Not rookie, but pretty early on in his career. Ozzy Geegan. Greg Vaughn. Jimmy Key. Now, again, that's one picture that I would definitely make an argument for as far as Hall of Fame. There goes another Alomar. All right. Well, not all that bad. Another Mark Wallers. Another Jimmy Abbott. Paul O'Neill. Early card of his. Yankee fans out there. Roberto Hernandez. Edgar Martinez. Now that's pretty cool. That That's actually very cool. Again, not rookie or anything like that, but uh, Hall of Famer. And uh, again, y'all could comment if uh, you think lifetime career DHs. Uh, although, of course, here he played third base. So yeah, at one time he was... Uh, he was on the field and uh, just became a DH. All right. Let me move those to the side. Okay, and I mentioned the uh, machine that the Expos were putting together at that time. That was another part of it, the Shields. Heathcliff so Slocum. I mean, uh, he had a cool name. Brian McRae, Swan, Gallagher, Greg Jeffries. That's that Mets player I was mentioning. I mean, he was supposed to be all that, bag of chips, and uh, absolutely did not pan out that way. He had a good career. I'd say better than Kevin Moss, but uh, definitely not uh, what was projected. Another Alomar. All right, so all in all, if I'm not mistaken, that's it for that box. Yep, that's it for that box. we got a big empty box here now. So considering that this box was supposed to be just commons, um, I don't think we did all that badly. Uh, I mean, we could have definitely had more, um, but I, I don't think it was cleaned out as as well as the previous owner thought by just writing commons on this box. Um, anytime you find a Hall of Famers in there, and it doesn't matter uh, all that much. Um, as far as big time home run hitters or anything like that. But the fact that there were Hall of Famers in here, there were a couple rookies and early cards of uh, different players in here. I, I, You know what? To me, it's pretty cool even finding those. Uh, you never know what to expect. And because you don't know what to expect and you don't expect to find much, uh, it kind of makes it a, a little bit more interesting. All right, I'm getting these back in here. And... I'm going to start opening up that second box. Now, the next box was marked Baseball Commons and Stars. Okay, so thinking about it, and it's in the same handwriting as the first one. So thinking about it, there could be something a little bit better than that. Although, I what do we get? To me, about a dozen keeper cards. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Nineteen twenty-two. Now we only have a few up on the wall of fame, and yeah, there could have probably been a few more up there. But I'm, I'm going to play it a little bit conservative. I don't necessarily think that that box was a bad value. I, again, it kind of was what it was. Now let's see what's inside this one. All right, that's what that one looks like. Looks like we got a bit of a divider there. Let's see what those are first. Oh yuck. A year to remember, 66, 65, 64, 63, 62, 61. Almost a full set of these, 60, 59, 58, 57. All right, we're missing 56 and 55. 53, 52, 51, 49, so we're missing 50. See, so yeah, pretty much a full set of these. That's pretty interesting to have as a divider. Okay. Now, those were part of the score set. 
uh, if I'm not mistaken, 88 or 89. So pretty cool there. I mean, I definitely have the rest. I could always uh, just pop the rest there and put those out somewhere. We'll see what happens. You never know what to do with all of the throwaway fill-in cards. All right, we're starting off with some 89 Donruss. Now, of course, we could find the Griffey in here. I doubt we will, but it does say commons and stars, so who knows? Norm Charlton, Caminiti. I doubt it highly, but you absolutely never know. Krim, Nezalak, Tim Loudner, Dave Valley, Kevin Brown, Brownie. Checklist. Yeah, so far this is just junk. Uh, nobody that I would necessarily have a great memory of or remember them as anything all that huge or that big. Um, I haven't even seen a single one to throw on the side yet. Maybe I missed something. If I did, always, as of course, as I mentioned, let me know. Um, I mean, there's a lot of good stuff you can find in the 89 Donruss. Uh, as I mentioned, the Griffey rookie, of course. Um, what else would there be? Uh, you know, all of your Hall of Fame cards, of course. Um, you know, the Schmidt, the Ryan, uh, the Ripken, uh, all of that stuff. Uh, other rookies you might find might be the BGO, uh, the Sheffield. Um, those would be good finds in here also, but who knows? The John Smoltz, of course. Uh, that could be pretty cool. Uh, common cards of this series, uh, the, there's not that many that have any value. And when I say common, um, you know, your you non-Hall of Famer cards, uh, your non-popular cards. For some reason, looking at, again, at PSA values, the Ramon Martinez seems to be up there, and the Alex Madrid. Now, I could be wrong, but I think I just passed an Alex Madrid, so I might need to rip back through that. Also, the Ricky Jordan. Now, I'm not sure exactly why. They never really had careers that were all of that. Quick look there. Yep, did get one. So I'm going to keep that one over there in the winter pile. I thought I saw one. The Ricky Jordan is also up there a bit, but and so is the Hal Morris. So got to remember to keep on the lookout for them. Of course, the Griffey Jr. is the one that takes this set. Takes it, carries it, carries it away. The Dale Murphy is also something that's uh, pretty popular here. So be on the lookout for Murphy. Now, Murphy was definitely one of those uh, star players that woulda, coulda. And uh, some people would definitely argue he should be in the Hall of Fame. Uh, just didn't make it for whatever reason. Oh, there goes the Martinez, Ramon Martinez. Now, his brother Pedro said that Ramon was actually a better pitcher than him. Uh, coming up, it definitely looked like it. I mean, complete power hitter, string bean pitcher, but uh, complete power pitcher. Blew his arm out. It's, again, one of those things. Bruce Suter, Hall of Famer. All right, not bad there. Walt Weiss. Mentioned him before. Dickie Thong. <laughs> Always got to laugh out of that name for immature reasons. All right. To these. Second here. Hey, all. Sorry about that. Had to take a break for a little bit here. My older daughter stopped by and uh, we got into a whole discussion about a test that she has coming up uh, that's going to be very important for her career. And, uh, Sat and talked for a whole bit about that and other things that life going on and all that other fun family stuff. So with that being said, let me get back to these. Uh, as I said, I was going through the second part, second box here. And uh, just flipping through. Now, as I mentioned, it did say commons and stars. So we are looking for any other stars. Got Blackjack McDowell there. Brady Anderson. Him of the 50 home run season back when. 
just that one fluke year he had. Tim Tuffel, Obert Fell. Gary Thurman was supposed to be a big up and comer back then. He didn't pan out that way. Was definitely not a bow. There's a lot of talk about him back uh, late 80s, early 90s, but uh, didn't exactly pan out either. Kevin Mitchell was a big power hitter during that time as well. All right. Starting with Antaveras, Matt Williams. He had a real good career. Definitely not Hall of Fame worthy, but good career. Sil Campusano, as I mentioned in another one of my videos, is one of the sets, if I'm not mistaken, is the top set that for some reason his card is worth some stupid amount of money. Not exactly sure why or why anybody collected him, uh, or why anybody would pay. I think it's like two or $300 uh, for a PSA 10 of his. Not exactly sure why that happened, but I, you know what? People do what they do, I guess. So yeah, looks like that's it on these 89 Donruss. Uh, and I say that because coloration has changed. So there were some good 89 Donruss that came out of there. The Alex Madrid, the Ramon Martinez, and the Bruce Suter. They all have uh, PSA value, although I would not exactly call them stars. Um, PSA-wise, okay. Now we have a whole bunch of Diamond King puzzle pieces in there. Uh, looks like the Warren Spawn puzzle. Yep, it's the Warren Spawn puzzle. Might be a full puzzle there. That, that'd be an interesting little flip. You know, dollar plus shipping or whatever for somebody that doesn't have it and wants it. That could be a cool one. All right. Let's see what else we have over here. All right. Now we're on to scores. Okay. 88 scores. Yeah. Seitzer. Corey Snyder. Kevin Mitchell, as I mentioned, he's he was a, a big power hitter during the 80s and uh, early 90s and kind of faded away. Uh, was considered a bit of a star back then. Uh, not, not necessarily a superstar per se, but definitely there was uh, interest, in ha interest in having on different teams. Uh, that's, that's definite. Um, he was considered a big home run hitter from back then. Greg Walker. And these are not 88, so I wonder if they're 80. 89s, I think. Okay. My misquote. Dave Stewart, big time power pitcher from then. And Dale Murphy, I, we've seen him before. Uh, again, somebody that could have, should have, would have been Hall of Fame. Uh, didn't exactly make it. For whatever reasons there might be. I'll keep him on the side because he was a star to me, so... <laughs> Brian Duran, Brooke Jacoby, Billy Ripken, or Ripken Light, like I like to call them. Ellis Burks, big time header from then. Gaetti, Cal Daniels. Dave Parker, now, he's another one of those that uh, a serious case can be made for Hall of Fame. Uh, was Definitely a superstar of his day. Big time slugger. I mean, if you go to his time with the Pirates, um, the whole We Are Family and all of that, all of that stuff with uh, Pop Stargell. Um, so yeah, he was definitely a, a power hitter. Definitely batted for average. All of that stuff that everybody looks for. Uh, but just also never really got voted in um, for whatever reason it might be. Shame about that. Tartable, Chris Sabo. He was supposed to be all that in a bag of chips back then. <laughs> Again, it's kind of interesting to see how players pan out and either make it or don't. And Now 
Jeff Reed, Ernie Witt, Gerald Young, Ron Kittle. Again, another one that uh, woulda, coulda, shoulda been, but didn't. Uh, I talk about his minor league career a whole lot. Um, you know, 30-something home runs, uh, RBIs, batting average like 350, and uh, yep, just a whole lot of nope there. Lance Parrish, Milt Thompson. Give me one second here. All right, keep it moving here with Jose Uribe, Kevin Seitzer, Chili Davis. Uh, yeah, not much there. All right, next stack. Try to get through this very quickly. I mean, again, there's not all that much in the 89 score that's really of all that. Treadway Dykstra. Dykstra. <laughs> After his career and probably during his career, the amount of trouble he got himself into is incredible. Uh, I mean, there's, there's been a lot of stuff, a lot of stories about him. Albert Hall. Rob Deere, slugger from those times. Absolutely. Bob Horner, the combination with him and Murphy. That was that seriously solid combination that the Braves had. Tony Fernandez. Galarraga. Yeah, it's funny. This box marked uh, stars and commons. Uh, I, I think the box that was marked commons uh, definitely had more stars than this one does. Uh, this is kind of lining up to be a... A kind of a let down junk box. Uh, definitely not what I thought would be stars and commons. But I mean, all in all, it's it's not bad. It, it's, you know what? It's set fillers or collection fillers. Glenn Davis, power hitter there. Barfield was definitely a superstar from those times. Not Hall of Fame level, but definite superstar. Crook. Shawan Dunstan we just passed. I love goofing on his name. Again, I used to call him Sean and Dunstan. Maz, Lee Mazzilli. Went out to be a great Yankees coach. Bill Buckner. Yankees coach, Yankees manager there. Dave Schmidt, Mark Gubixa. All-star pitcher from the 90s as well. Again, one of those that not Hall of Fame level. But definitely a star of his time. Kent DeColvey with that sidearm delivery. Submarine delivery. Greg Nettles <laughs> wearing an Expos uniform. Yeah, that, that, anyway. that Go from the Yankees and then bounce around and end up with the Expos. I, I don't know if you're going to have a career resurgence that way. Sid Fernandez, El Sid, great card there. Candyman, when he made his way to the Yankees. See, I don't see Candelaria in a Yankees uniform really either. Um, to me, he's a, he's a pirate through and through. They had trades and free agency and all that other stuff. Who knows where any player is going to ever end up. I mean, unless a team really wants their player to be with their team forever. And that's not all that common. I mean, it, it's it's all about the money. It's all about the contracts, the fan base, and all of that. I mean, the fan base is kind of what kept uh, Jeter with the Yankees, I think, his whole career. Uh, Yankees fans would have absolutely flipped if he were left. George Bell. Another power hitter there. Pig Pen, Thig Pen. The one that I really enjoy making fun of his name. Mike Maddox. Now, going through uh, all of these scores, the highest price one, um, if you're looking at PSA, is the Will Clark, then the Bo Jackson, then the Lee Smith. A uh, couple Hall of Famers and uh, Norm Charlton. 
So those are the kinds of things that we're, of course, looking out for in these. But uh, they, they seem absolutely... Like we're not going to find anything like that here. Roberto Kelly. All right. And these are not organized in any particular order, it seems. They're just whichever way they came. Don't know if these came from another pack breaker or something like that. They may have. Jimmy Key should be Hall of Fame. Yeah, you know, I might end up using these for uh, one of the ASMR videos also because they sound good, that's for sure. Uh, they have good sound to them. So that may end up being part of what I end up doing with these also. You know, there's always the question of what do you do with all the commons? What do you, how do you move them? What do you do with them? Do you pack them and wrap them and mix them with uh, other cards? Do you donate them or do you do you sell them as set, uh, set breaks or anything like that? There's always a lot of different questions. And uh, yeah, I got questions about these two boxes. <laughs> Seems like they've been gone through once, twice, and ten times, maybe. Now, it's pretty bad when the second box that says Commons and Stars has less. Jay Buhner, he was a star then, but definitely has less star value than the one just marked Commons. Quisenberry, another sidearm pitcher there. Nope. Nothing worth pulling out of that. All right, and we're wrapping up. This will be the last of it. Greg Jeffries. That would have been a great find back when. His career tanked. Mario Soto. Oh, well, no, that's pretty interesting. Okay, 1988 World Series card. Al Leiter. All right, and the last. Okay, Pedro Guerrero, Brady Anderson, Rasmussen, Tudor, Muscleman, Tom Browning, Ramon Mar. Oh, now we're talking. Now we're talking. All right. Ramon Martinez, rookie. I'll keep that one off to the side. That's a nice one. Baroa, Lilliquist, Charlie Hayes, Steve Searcy, Tom Prince, Mike Harkey, Doug Desenzo, Felix Furman, and we're back to the regulars. Well, we had a nice little run there for a few seconds. Matt Williams, nice card there. Again, not really Wall of Fame quality, but... All right, now we got our highlights. Okay, Boston Red, Stro Red Sox, AL win streak, and the Doug Jones highlight. Wrigley Field, first night game. That's pretty cool. And some more rookies now. Malaki, Dave West, Tim Jones, Luis De Los Santos, Todd Froworth, Norm Charlton. Okay, that's, that's a pretty cool one. I, I definitely put that one up on the side. Gerald Clark. Cameron Drew, Lance Blankenship, Ron Jones, Chad Kruder, and Craig Worthington to wrap us up. So, anyway, that's a two-box Goodwill break. Now, again, I, I kind of knew what I was getting into when I picked these up. Uh, there were a couple good cards in here, uh, things that I would definitely keep, and I don't know, maybe submit, maybe not. Looking at that Martinez is a ding in the corner. The Madrid is very sharp, though. Uh, looking at the other Martinez, that's definitely nice condition, and the Charlton is also very nice condition. So yeah, again, these these kind of these kind of breaks, they, you know what, not exactly the best break I've done uh, so far, but uh, it is what it is. Anyway, y'all take care. Hope you enjoyed this video more than I enjoyed going through this, because uh, I, if I seemed a little bit salty there, well, yeah, I mean. Uh, Going through a box that's marked Commons and Stars and finding pretty much squat in there. Uh, it's never thrilling. Uh, this was not the best uh, collection purchase I've done, that's for sure. You can check out my other videos and see some better ones. Anyway, y'all take care of yourselves. And as I said, hope you enjoyed this uh, more than I did. 
Stay blessed. Bunkle out.